Hey everyone, this is Anna and thanks for visiting my channel. Uh, in my previous video, I shared my completed uh, Valentine's cards that I have in my uh, completed card stash. In this video, I'm going to be sharing my spring and Easter completed cards. These cards were not all necessarily completed recently. Some of them have been um, in my completed card stash for years and years. Um, but I did have a request to share the cards that I have in my stash um, from the video that I shared where I was showing how I store all the completed cards that I have here. So this video is just to share the spring and Easter cards. And then I do have these additional categories as well and did request on my previous video that if there was another category you would like to see, uh, just to let me know in the comments below. But we will have um, just because and hello, thanks, birthday and birthday for the kiddos, chickens, encouragement and sympathy, Christmas, winter, uh, fall and the fall holidays, and miss you. So again, if there's any of those categories that you would like me to do a similar video for, just let me know in the comments below and I would be happy to do so. So let's go ahead and get started with spring and then I'll move into Easter. So here's one that I completed with uh, some of my stamps for Whippersnapper Designs. And I am an illustrator for Whippersnapper Designs, so you will see uh, a lot of cards made with um, their stamps in addition to dies from Impression Obsession. So um, I do mix in other companies though as well. So um, anyway, this is uh, Chicks and Boots, I believe and this is available on their website. I will also link websites down below. I'll link the Whippersnapper website, um, the Impression Obsession website, and a few others if I, um, if I remember to do so. Um, here's another one for uh, Whippersnapper Designs. Um, this one was colored with um, watercolor pigments and um, then some colored pencil added for a little bit of detail. I should mention too on this one, it was colored with watercolor pigments and then colored pencil as well. These girls could also be in my chicken category. So this is another one that I completed for Whippersnapper. And these little chickens looking outside the window of the potting shed. Here's a card I made uh, with images and dies from Picket Fence Studios, and I just love these little images. Uh, this, the images are actually um, embossed in white. Um, actually, it looks like it may be a, like a vanilla cream color, and then watercolored, and then the uh, background stripes here are also embossed and then cut apart. Um, I believe this is using some WOW embossing powder. So really cute. Love that card. Here's one I made um, a long time ago from um, with images from High Hopes rubber stamps. This is a St. Patrick's Day card. And I just love that little pig. And this forest scene that they had available at the time was really great. It was really fun to use because you could put just anything in front of it there. And um, really cute card. Uh, here's one I made with images from uh, Penny Black. I think this is just a single stamped image that I painted and then did a really wild uh, watercolor technique on the background there. Some cards I just have a really hard time parting with. Uh, that would be one of them. <laughs> um, I also pulled out some tags that I've made, um, some spring themed tags. So here's a chicken tag that I made with dyes from Impression Obsession and various pattern papers from October afternoon. And then uh, here's a tag that I made with more Impression Obsession dies. Um, and this is the frog. Um, here's a little tag I made a long time ago. Again, more pattern paper from October afternoon. And then she uh, lifts up and you can put a little note inside. And then one more tag um, is this one here. And again, made with dyes from Impression Obsession. And I'm going to be teaching a class in California in April. I was supposed to teach it last April. And um, <laughs> sneak peek for those of you who might attend, this is one of the projects we're going to be making. 
So there's that. Now I'll go ahead and share. Um, oh, it looks like I have some more spring stuff here. I thought we were already on to um, Easter, but nope, just spring. Um, this is a stamp image from Amuse, I believe. Or at least uh, the bird is from Amuse. The shorts are probably from Amuse, and I just stamped them and created a scene here. Here's a card I made with images from Impression Obsession. Uh, and here's uh, a card I made with images from Amuse. And I've been doing this sewing detail for so long, and now I'm actually incorporating that type of zigzag stitch into my dies that I am designing. So that's fun. Um, and here's one more for spring that I made with an image from Impression Obsession. And it's uh, little daffodils. They are um, embossed in white and then watercolored for a watercolor resist. Um, I also have some Easter cards to share with you, but first here's a little tag that I made. Um, the jar and all the little dies are from Impression Obsession. And then this is some seam binding, seam binding ribbon that I hand dyed. So I think that was pretty. Here's an Easter card made with dies from Impression Obsession. Um, and once they were die cut, then I just kind of colored the images with uh, some alcohol markers. Here are some cards that I made um, with uh, Stampin' Up! images. And I think this is a Spellbinders die, this uh, frame here. Super cute image. Here's a card I made with an inky, an inky antics chick and sentiment. Oh, I'm not sure if that's inky antics. That might be amuse. Sheesh, I can't remember. But I love that little chick. And he's peeking through a heart die cut there. Um, here's one I made a long time ago when I lived in Oregon. So a long time ago. Eat chocolate. And that bunny is um, embossed in black embossing powder. Um, eat chocolate is stamped along the side there in black embossing powder. Cute little screw detail right there. Here's one I made for um, High Hopes rubber stamps. A little gal with her lammies. Here's a cute little Easter card uh, made with dies from Impression Obsession. Um, this could also just be like a garden card, summer garden card too. It doesn't have to be Easter. Here's one that says, Some Bunny Loves You. This is a Amuse um, sentiment. And then the die egg dies are from Impression Obsession. And they're die cut out of watercolor paper after it was already um, colored and painted. Um, here's one that I made with an Impression Obsession image. I love this card. I think that image is so cute. And I do know that that stamp is retired, no longer available. Oh. Here's another Easter card made with images from Impression Obsession. Um, stamped on watercolor paper and painted with um, Prima watercolors. I can tell because of the chalky color in the pigment. And just a couple more. Um, I do have these that I made um, with these little, they're like chipboard stickers you can get at Target um, during the holiday seasons. So I just pieced together a couple that um, came together really quickly. And then the final Easter card that I have to share is this one here, and it's made with this cute little image from High Hopes Rubber Stamps. And it's uh, stamped on watercolor paper. Actually, it's stamped on a cotton paper and then watercolored with reinker dies from the reinkers, Stampin' Up! reinkers. So those are my Easter cards to share. Um, 
Again, if you have any other category that you would like to see, please let me know. I'd be happy to do so. And uh, I'd like to keep the categories relatively the way that they are here so that the videos don't get too long. But I hope you enjoyed. Maybe you found a card that you like. Maybe you'd like to case a card, um, a design idea. So thanks again for watching my video. I really appreciate it. And we will chat again soon. Bye.